Mighty warrior Ryan Garcia! He looks ready. He looks strong. He looks focused. He looks, uh, yeah, he looks determined. And last week we were at Wild Card and great job by Luis. And Bill Haney, known for his candid nature, made sure Ryan Garcia faced the consequences of his reckless words. Like a predator seizing its prey, Haney wasted no time in addressing Garcia's accusation that he had exploited his wife. The tension between the Haney camp and Garcia is reaching boiling point as they anticipate nothing short of a fierce showdown. Haney himself has hinted at expecting Garcia's demise in the ring. Let's see how Garcia responds to this fiery challenge. Over recent months, a myriad of controversies has encircled the impending bout, ensnaring not only the two primary pugilists, but also drawing in luminaries such as Floyd Mayweather, Gervonta, Tank Davis, De La Hoya, and Derek James. Just when the boxing sphere anticipated a lull prior to the showdown, a tempest erupted, catching everyone off guard. The storm began its churn when both fighters converged in New York for a face-off, foreshadowing the intensity of their imminent clash at the Brooklyn Center this Saturday for the coveted WBC Super Lightweight World Title. The rivalry between the American duo had escalated to a boiling point, with prior press conferences already showcasing verbal jabs and personal attacks. However, Haney now harbored a darker resolve, thirsting for actions that would etch his name in headlines until the final showdown. At a clandestine face-off atop the iconic Empire State Building, amidst a throng of media, tensions soared. Haney and Garcia locked eyes, their heated exchange reaching a crescendo as they squared off inches apart. Then, in a moment of raw aggression, the reigning champion forcefully shoved his challenger backward, signaling a shift from words to physicality in their bitter feud. A wave of security swiftly intervened to halt any potential altercation between the two, ushering in a new twist to the already spicy situation. Bill Haney, father of Devin Haney, provocatively stole the spotlight during the face-off between his son and Ryan Garcia, ahead of their eagerly awaited match. As tensions flared between the boxers on Tuesday, Bill Haney ominously forecasted his son's victory over Garcia in the ring, adding fuel to the fiery anticipation surrounding the bout. Before their anticipated bout, Haney and Garcia rendezvoused atop the Empire State Building, However, what began as a mere encounter swiftly spiraled into chaos. Garcia incessantly taunted Haney, hurling insults about his mother and alleging unsavory matters regarding Haney's family. Enraged, Haney's composure shattered, and he resorted to forcefully shoving Garcia away. The heated exchange left lingering tension in the air, with Haney's outburst prompting criticism from observers. Bill, taken aback by the altercation, condemned Haney's behavior, citing it as a disrespect not only to the sport of boxing, but also to its practitioners and enthusiasts alike. In the midst of the tension, he squared up against Ryan Garcia's mother, taking aim at both her and her son. With a fierce intensity, he declared, come April 20th, he's done for. No respect is shown, watch as it unfolds. Mrs. Garcia, you can't intervene now. It's about to get real, just like Ivan Drago famously said, if he dies, he dies. Bill's words echoed those of the fictional Russian boxer from the classic film Rocky IV. After a brief altercation, Haney reiterated his father's vow, vowing that Garcia would meet his end on Saturday. I'll expose him for what he is, a clown, a fake. He doesn't take this seriously, he declared to Fight Hub. Prior to this, Garcia had issued his own ominous warning to Bill, claiming he alone could prevent the brutal aftermath of their impending clash. The gym, you know, I just look at the facts, you know, whatever people want to say about me and how they felt, you know, how my actions were, that's on them, you know. I felt like, you know, I don't regret anything I said or, or did, 
and now I'm ready to, you know, kick ass on, you know, April 20th. This isn't the first instance where Haney and Garcia have flirted with dangerous threats. Garcia, in particular, has made unwelcome comments about Haney's faith, which hasn't escaped notice. In a recent interview with Dazen about the boxing scene, the 25-year-old boxer expressed his dismay over Garcia's remarks, suggesting they had overstepped bounds. He preferred not to dwell on the matter, implying that the feud between them had reached its peak. The emergence of animosity between the two fighters is somewhat unexpected, given their long history. They've been acquainted since childhood and previously shared an amicable relationship. Ryan Garcia has been a part of my life since I was just 10, Haney remarked, emphasizing their deep-rooted connection. Despite this, he seemed unfazed by Garcia's disparaging comments, asserting, he can bark all he wants and attempt to belittle me. I know my worth as a fighter, and so do those who truly understand my capabilities. Following April 20th, expect him to sing praises of my greatness. A myriad of die-hard boxing aficionados have grown accustomed to the heated exchanges between Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney. Some even argue that Haney's retaliatory actions stemmed from being pushed by Garcia during a skirmish that erupted shortly after their April 20th showdown was confirmed. Once the official announcement dropped regarding their impending 140 pounds bout on April 20th, Tensions flared as both fighters nearly came to blows during a face-to-face -face encounter in Las Vegas. Clearly, the encounter between the pair was orchestrated to drum up hype for their April 20th bout, but it teetered on the brink of chaos. It all began as the fighters squared off, with Garcia launching into accusations about him being manipulated by his own father. This sparked a fiery exchange, Garcia's voice booming with taunts about fear consuming. At that moment, Ryan Garcia grabbed Haney by the collar, provoking Haney to retaliate before personal security intervened. Yet, tensions lingered as Garcia persistently taunted Haney by maneuvering his security guard into the mix. This seemingly triggered Bill Haney, who attempted to step forward, but was restrained. Fans, familiar with the ongoing rivalry, speculated that Devin Haney had been biding his time for payback ever since Garcia's earlier shove several months back. The recent incident at the Empire State Building unfolded as a culmination of Devin Haney's long-standing intention, simmering in his thoughts for months. However, Ryan Garcia perceives it not as a mere act of revenge, but rather as a serious offense. Uh, yeah, I want some of your mama. I want your mama now. Uh, get, I guess, hey, your mama probably my dears. Haney's decision to share the encounter on his Instagram, depicting a heated exchange followed by a physical altercation where he shoved Garcia in the face, has sparked widespread attention. The footage swiftly transcended Instagram, spreading across various social media platforms. Garcia is contemplating legal action in response to what he deems a grave transgression. Upon stumbling upon the footage, Ryan Garcia promptly addressed the incident involving X, asserting, I've mentioned I devoured that delicious moment. I crave more. Face-offs are a customary occurrence in boxing, sparking social media debates among fans over whether the shove was staged to hype the fight. However, Haney's father insists it was genuine, emphasizing the personal stakes involved in their camp. In a startling turn, Garcia announced his intention to pursue legal action against Haney for the unconsented push, branding it a hate crime against the LGBTQ plus community, despite Garcia never publicly identifying as gay. On the flip side, many supporters are puzzled by Devin Haney's decision to physically confront Ryan Garcia. However, this incident has sparked widespread speculation among fans about the whereabouts and identity of Devin's mother. Some have even gone as far as suggesting that Devin Haney may not have a mother at all, implying that this absence contributed to his reaction to Ryan Garcia's remarks. Garcia had previously made comments about his own father during a podcast interview, emphasizing his pivotal role in his life. He described his father as not only a parent, 
but also a close confidant who adeptly balances familial roles with business responsibilities. While acknowledging that their relationship has its challenges, Garcia emphasized their ability to navigate conflicts as partners. The perplexing sight of Devon referring to his father as his entire world raised eyebrows among many observers, prompting a deeper exploration into the intricacies of the Haney family dynamics. April Clay, known as Devon Haney's mother, had early ties with Bill, but their marital journey diverged soon after welcoming their second son into the world. Speculations surrounding Devon's family tree abounds, with some sources labeling April as his stepmother and citing Renee Haney as his biological mother. However, amidst the confusion, a YouTube video surfaces where April Clay unequivocally identifies herself as Devon's biological mother, casting doubt on previous assertions. The bond shared by Bill Haney and Devon Haney runs deep, rooted not only in their familial ties, but also in their roles as trainers and managers. Bill's journey has been marked by challenges, beginning with a tumultuous childhood where he sought refuge from street pressures in a Catholic private school. Yet, fate led him to Oakland's juvenile hall, and he found himself ensnared in the allure of drugs, eventually dabbling in the marijuana and cocaine trade during his teenage years in California. Bill's influence loomed large in shaping Devin's professional path. Serving as both trainer and mentor, his father played a pivotal role in Devin's ascent. Despite considering an Olympic pursuit, Devin opted for the professional circuit, embarking on that journey with his father by his side. At just 17, Haney's talent caught the attention of Showbox, marking his entry into the professional ranks. His journey continued with signings by Matchroom Boxing and eventually top rank culminating in his WBC lightweight championship. Devon's quest for undisputed status led him to challenge George Cambosos Jr. in the latter's native Australia. Bill had faced hurdles in obtaining a travel visa due to a conviction dating back to 1992, which had led to a stint in prison. However, just before the bout, authorities granted him entry to the country. Bill remained steadfast in his belief that his son would triumph DHP and Bill Haney, Devin Haney, Team Haney, and all of us, we running hot, baby. And I'll tell you one thing, Saturday, Devin is going to halfway kill that boy if he don't kill him. Yeah, and I'm standing on that. For all the disrespect, welcome to the top of the game, where we belong. Welcome to the top of the game. Yeah, Captain. Yeah, it's cold, man. They say it's shit, but it's fair. You dig? Bill and Devin Haney stand as an indomitable force in the realm of boxing, their serene demeanor coupled with unconventional training techniques setting them apart. Their sights are set on an enduring reign of victory, poised to defy defeat for years to come. However, their medal faces its ultimate trial this Saturday, as decades of simmering rivalry between Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia come to a head. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, Remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.